Hello. I wanted to thank you for embarking on these seven days of letting go of fears, phobias, and everything that sets us in a panic. I also wanted to acknowledge uh, that some of you have contributed a lot uh, to my universe by actually being vulnerable and sharing uh, all the different things that have been going on with you and all the different areas that you'd like to change in your life. Uh, your inputs, your sharings have been uh, very, very helpful in terms of putting clarity as far as the group goes and what the shares on the group should be. So I wanted to thank you for that. Um, also, would like to acknowledge those of you who've actually applied the tools that have been shared. Some of these tools are really, really powerful because I've tried them myself in the past. I have several clients, um, lots of family and friends who use the tools with great success and uh, have been able to change so many different areas of their life. So there are some of you who've already shared with me the different changes that you're experiencing. Some of you have shared that it's just easier being around certain people, uh, being in certain situations, and uh, others have shared that um, as far as some particular fears go, uh, it seems that the lid's been lifted. So you have shared that uh, it's been interesting to see that um, whatever in the past kind of set you off, you're now able to function with it in a different manner. So truly appreciate that feedback from you. And today I just wanted to talk about um, one very important thing actually, which is who would I be if I didn't have a past? So sitting here today, if whatever you experienced in the past, whatever your past is, sometimes we hold on to that, different experiences, relationships, things that didn't go right in our life, certain regrets, all of that. So what if none of that was part of who you are today? What would you be doing? I did try to play with this exercise on the group and some of you did respond and share uh, the different things you'd actually be doing if you didn't have your fear. So what if you had no past, like no past at all? What if it was a total clean slate? Who would you be today? What would you be choosing? What would you be doing? i just like you to get the energy of that. Just think, you know, about what are the different things you'd actually be doing today? Where would you be? Who would you be with? How would you relate to yourself, you know, if you had no past? Um, it's a very interesting question if you actually explore it. And the other really interesting part is that it's not something that we can't achieve. So sometimes we tend to live from our past, whatever we, we've experienced. We tend to continue to dig into the past. Sometimes we do that actively. Sometimes it's just sort of sitting there somewhere in our energy system. And even though cognitively we don't know, we are still functioning from those past experiences or situations, a lot of time we are. So just ask yourself this question, what if I had no past? What would I choose today? And the different things that come up, I just want to share, those are things you can actually start choosing today. You really can. You know, I had a client who had claustrophobia and um, it was very tough for her because not only was it difficult for her to be in a room where there were too many people, even going on flights was a big problem. Um, she used to live in Mumbai and uh, sometimes, you know, there were lifts that kind of would take her up several floors or down. And it just got so uncomfortable that she didn't care. She started, she'd rather walk like 16 or 20 flights of stairs than be in a lift. Uh, eventually, in terms of her work, a lot of work stopped coming to her because it required her to travel and she just couldn't do that you know it was very difficult for her to be on a flight and so um i worked with her you know over some time and um, 
it's been a few months actually now maybe more than a year year and a half and uh, she's just reported amazing amazing changes you know she's been um enjoying life a lot more because uh, she is more at ease in the company of other people she's able to take flights in fact she even went on an international holiday which was like a, a long haul flight for her with her family last year doing some of the things she never imagined she could do and what she said was she just experiences a new sense of freedom she just doesn't feel like she's closed up and her words were closed up and closeted in um i just wanted to share that with you because this was someone who had you know extreme extreme claustrophobia and uh, had kind of stopped functioning in a lot of areas in her life because of that and she was able to change it you know and start choosing the things that she had desired in the past but just put away because she figured those weren't things that she'd be ever able to do so what are what are some of those things that you've been putting off that you'd like to choose today and everything that doesn't allow you to know that be that receive that perceive that will you destroy and uncreate it right and wrong good and bad pon pok online shots boys and beyonds who or what would you be today if you had no past and everything that doesn't allow you to perceive that will you destroy and uncreate it right and wrong good and bad pon pok on and shots boys and beyonds if there's any other clarity you'd like or any other questions you have uh, please feel free to uh, message me or call me i'd be more than happy to assist you with those and um, if these 7 days if uh, any of the tools that i shared have had any impact on you um please do share that with me as well i'd really appreciate it wishing you lots of joy lots of happiness lots of ease and um just lots of joy choosing the things that you've been putting off for so long